In this video, we are going to solve real-world problems by using the trigonometric ratios and their inverses. The first thing to learn is angles of elevation and angles of depression. That measures the angle at which an observer views a point or object above or below the horizon. So, if you are looking at a plane up there and a dog below, the side here will make an angle of elevation with the horizontal line in front of the eye with the other side which is the side of the plane. These two sides make an angle of elevation. The other side where you're looking at the dog makes an angle of depression with the horizontal line in front of your eye. Now let's look at this example. Rakim is flying his drone at the park. He spots the drone at an angle of elevation that he estimates to be 30 degrees. The remote control tells Rakim that his drone is 102 feet above the ground. If Rakim is 6 feet tall, how far is he from the drone to the nearest foot? This means that we need to find the hypotenuse length of this triangle. Because Rakim is 6 feet tall, this means that BC is 102 minus 6, that is 96 feet. Now let X represent the distance from Rakim to the drone AB, which is the hypotenuse length. So what relation relates the angle 30 with 96 and the hypotenuse X? 96 feet is the opposite side of 30 degrees and X is the hypotenuse. So the relation is the sine function because sine 30 equals 96 over x. So we can find the x. By solving for x, you will divide 96 over sine 30. The answer will be 190, 2 feet from his drop. Another example. Cottonwood Idaho's Dog Bark Park Inn is a popular tourist attraction featuring a hotel in the shape of a 30-foot wood-carved beagle. Pedro looks out the window, 30 feet from the ground, and spots a fire hydrant on the ground at an estimated angle of depression of 40 degrees. What is the horizontal distance from Pedro to the hydrant to the nearest foot? Because AB and DC are parallel sides and AC is a transversal between them, this means that angle BAC and angle ACD are equal alternate angles. Now we need to find a relation between the side that we need to find that is DC and the angle 40 that we have and the opposite side 30. Of course, DC is the adjacent side to the angle C and the opposite side is 30. So the relation between the three of them is the tan C, that is opposite over adjacent. Then to find DC, you will divide 30 over tan 40 on the calculator to find the answer. 